Hi, my name is Dana Kilburn, and I'm currently a senior accounting major with a concentration in logistics and international trade analytics at the University of the District of Columbia. Today, I will be presenting to you my research entitled COVID-19 and the Global Value Chain, How to Avoid Disruptions and Failures. The outline of my research will be abstract, motivation of research, introduction, theoretical framework, case studies, managerial implications, and references. COVID-19 has been a global COVID-19 COVID global pandemic has created supply chain disruptions worldwide and catastrophic health crises that the world has never seen in a century. Organizations, governments, communities, and individuals have been negatively impacted by this contagion that has resulted in losses pertaining to business and even human life. With time, the coronavirus will go away. However, businesses need to make sure that they are creating a system within their company and also countries need to make sure they are creating a supply chain that, that will be able to manage disruptions that comes, with, that comes with things like a pandemic. This research outlines the behavioral changes necessary for business and individuals worldwide for making sustainable transitions to a more, towards a more global value chain perspective. This paper addresses the following questions. What measures can we put in place to ensure the global value chain system is not impacted severely when disasters like the COVID-19 pandemic occurs? Does a better framework exist for a more efficient global value chain system? My reason for choosing this research topic is because COVID-19 has been one of the most catastrophic health crises the world has ever seen. In the blink of an eye, everyone in the world had to adjust to what became the new normal, self-isolation and staying indoors for a month. With that, shelves became em empty in stores because people were simply stocking up on goods like hand sanitizers, toiletries, and water. Factory production slowed down drastically as many companies were short staffed and supply could no longer meet demand. For these reasons, I wanted to see where the gap was in within my within the supply chain and all companies and countries like China who supply goods to many countries can avoid these major disruptions when pandemic and when pandemic and disturbances occur within the supply chain. The global value chain is the root of a country's economy. It consists of the network, it consists of a network that spans across multiple countries and continents for the purpose of supplying and sourcing goods and services worldwide. To date, many factories have closed because of the guidelines put in place to protect workers. This has caused significant reduction in the production of goods and effect of this is shown in the shortage in food supplies, pharmaceutical appliances, and many other essentials that are needed for everyday life. The COVID-19 pandemic has definitely put the global value chains to the test. It has shed light on some of the inconsistencies within the system and also has proven that when faced with unprecedented series of shocks like a pandemic, COVID-19, it will have an immense effect on a country's economic system. For most supply chain system, demand was, has increased drastically and supply was not able to handle this condition. As such, the question of market resilience and survivability was raised. Because the because the COVID because COVID-19 has disrupted global value chain system negatively, a strategy to help companies and countries create a more viable supply chain system 
is needed. What is a viable supply chain, you may ask? A viable supply chain system is a method that involves each global value chain of companies and countries to have certain characteristics. These characteristics are resilience, robustness, viability, and stability. Robustness is the ability to stand against disruptions and continue with the planned performance. Stability is the ability to resume to a level of pre-disturbance and ensure constant continuity. Resilience is the ability to withstand a disruption and recuperate whatever activity and recuperate whatever activity was being done. Viability is the ability to sustain and outlast in a shifting environment over a long period of time through a reshaping of structures and replanning of economic performance with long-term impact. Here is a chart, here is a diagram that I came up with of how um, these different characteristics when put all together can create a more, with, can create a more viable global value chain system. In addition, coupled with the viable supply chain model system, another way to help countries and organizations avoid disruption is through using simulation. Simulation models are viewed as a suitable tool to examine and forecast supply chain behaviors over a period. Simulation studies allows for additional dynamic feature to optimization techniques, which are widely used in supply chain risk analysis. The simulation model reflects on randomness in disruptions, production inventory sourcing, and randomness constraints and shipping control policies. This is a case study that shows what happens when there is disruption when there is disruption and when there is none. In a normal operation, there are no challenges. When there is a disruption in only China, it lacks the distribution of goods and to other countries and suppliers and producers and ports are affected by these disruptions. In the fourth part where it's disruption in China, USA, South America, Europe, and in other markets, um, the disruption can last up to 45 to, not, to 90 days of disruption. This usually causes a long delay, and this is why uh, this is why there become shortages in supermarkets because the supply has been delayed, and it's delayed from the supplier then to the producer, then in the port, then when it reached to the country, then it reached to the market. It is delayed. Some of the managerial implications that can come from this study and are how this research will help managers is through using the viable supply chain and the simulation-based technique, companies and countries will be able to reduce the distribution and failures that may occur in situations like a pandemic. Using the simulation-based method, companies will be able to predict what may happen when with disruptions like a pandemic and create a more effective strategy to combat combat this to ensure the supply can meet demand. Incorporating the four characteristics within the supply chain of companies and countries will help to create a more viable global value chain system. These are the references that were used to complete this research. Please refer to them for more information if needed. Thank you for listening and my hope is that you have learned something new. Thank you.